Hello. Welcome to the video. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at section 11.8, uh, where we're going to be looking at surface areas and volumes of spheres. So just like uh, we did with cones, uh, there is uh, specific formulas for surface areas uh, and volumes for spheres. We're going to take a look at those and uh, see if we can discover uh, what the surface areas and volumes are. So to start, we're going to look at uh, the sphere um, surface area. That is... Surface area is going to be 4 times pi times r squared. So with that, uh, this first one, uh, pretty straightforward. We have our value of r. So um, we have all the information we need. We just have to plug it into the uh, formula. So uh, the surface area is going to be 4 times pi uh, times 8 squared. So 8 squared is 64. 64 times 4 gives us 256. So surface area exact answer is 256 pi square inches or the approximate value if we multiplied uh, 256 by 3.14 would be about 804.25. Square inches. For part B, what they gave us is the circumference of this circle. They told you that the circumference of this was 12 pi. So if you recall, uh, circumference is pi times by d, or circumference is equal to 2 pi r. Since uh, we have to, we have to use the radius. Let's use the 2 pi r formula to find the radius. So 12 pi will then be equal to 2 pi r. So if I divide 2 pi to both sides, that means 6 equals r. Now that I know that 6 equals r, I can use the surface area formula, which is going to be 4 times pi times 6 squared. So I got, what, 6 squared is 36 times by 4, which is 144. So my exact answer for the surface area is 144 pi, and that's going to be square feet. If I wanted to approximate, it would be about 452.39 square feet. All right, so in this particular one, they want you to find the diameter of the sphere. So what they gave us is they gave us the surface area, which was 20.25 pi square centimeters. So again, we know that the surface area is 4 times pi times r squared. So I'm going to plug this in here. So this is going to be uh, 20. 2, 5 pi is equal to 4 pi r squared. So since I got pi's on both sides, those cancel out. Uh, to get r by itself, um, or r squared by itself more specifically, is going to be 20.25 divided by 4, which I get 5.0625, which equals r squared. Take the square root of both sides, and we get... 2.25 is equal to r. So we found the radius, but they're asking for the diameter, and the radius is half of the diameter. So in order to find the diameter, I just take that and multiply it by 2. So my diameter is going to be equal to 4.5, and it's labeled as centimeters. Looking at the volume of a sphere, the 
volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So again, we need uh, the radius in order to uh, discover what the volume is. So here we have, it looks like a soccer ball that has a radius of 4.5 inches. They want us to find the volume of this. So we got volume is 4 thirds pi, and it's going to be 4.5 cubed. So 4.5 to the third times that by 4 thirds, I get an exact answer of 121.5 pi, and it is volume, so it's cubic inches, or the approximate answer would be about 381.7 cubic inches. All right, so in this uh, question here, they say the surface area of a sphere is 324 pi square centimeters. They want us to find the volume of the sphere. So the thing that correlates between surface area and volume of the sphere is the radius. So specifically, we need to find that radius. So uh, going back to the formula of surface area, it's 4 pi r squared. So I'm going to say 324 pi is equal to 4 pi r squared, which means I have what? The pi's cancel. So 324 divided by 4 is 81. So I got 81 is equal to r squared. So r is 9. So now that I know that the radius is 9, I can use that for my volume. So it's going to be 4 thirds pi 9 cubed. So I got 9 cubed times it by 4 thirds which gets us an exact answer of 972 pi, and it was, what, centimeters? So it's going to be cubic centimeters. And my approximate answer would be about 3,053.63 cubic centimeters. All right, final example here, uh, they have, they want you to find the volume of this composite, so maybe a little bit tough to see, but it kind of looks like a cylinder, but it looks like there's like a bowl um, in the middle that's kind of hollowed out. And <clears throat> so basically we're going to find the volume of the cylinder, and then we're going to subtract it by half of half the volume of a sphere, essentially, because you're not using the whole sphere. So so with that, uh, let's look at the volume of that cylinder. So the cylinder is going to be the volume of the base, which is a circle, and that is pi r squared. So it's going to be 2 squared, which is, and then the height is 2. So I get. 8, 4 times 2 is 8 pi. So that is my uh, exact answer, but I'll just approximate for these ones here. So I get 25.13, and that is cubic inches. Okay, so now for the volume of this sphere, again, this is 4 thirds pi. 2 cubed, but it, then the whole thing gets divided by 2 because it's only half a sphere. So I get 2 to the third power, which is 8, times it by 4 thirds, uh, and then it gets multiplied by pi, and then it gets divided by 2. So my approximate value is 16 point, we'll say 76. 
cubic inches. So to find the volume of this composite, I'm going to take 25.13, subtract it by 16.76, which gets us a value of about 8.37 cubic inches. And that is uh, being able to find uh, surface areas and volumes of spheres. Hope this helps. Until next time.